the quest to fly around the world in a solar-powered plane takes off again. The Solar Impulse Wonderful. team has begun the latest leg of its delayed mission. Wonderful. Have a great flight, Bitcoin! Enjoy it! And don't forget to come down! The plane last flew in July 2015, but subsequently needed repairs and further test flights. There were technical lessons, of course. The problem of the heating of the batteries and, and things like that. Uh, the challenges with the weather, but we knew it wouldn't be easy. In the latest leg, pilot Bertrand Picard took off from Hawaii in hopes to land in California about 62 hours later. It will be my longest flight with Solar Impulse. Until now, I've flown five days, nine days, and 20 days, but it was always a two-man crew. This time, I will be alone for about four days, five days, I don't know. In the previous leg, Pilot Andre Borschberg completed a nearly 118-hour flight from Japan to Hawaii. But the batteries overheated on the first day of its journey and resulted in the plane being grounded until 2016. Solar Impulse 2 began its journey from Abu Dhabi in March 2015. It uses more than 17,000 solar cells to charge four batteries that power the electric engine that keeps the plane airborne. For those who think solar-powered passenger planes are next, prepare to be disappointed. Solar Impulse isn't a prototype. It's just a way to get the message out on what energy efficiency can deliver. If I fly with this airplane, it's the contribution to try and show that clean technologies today can achieve the impossible. If it lands in California, the mission will continue onward to New York, then Europe or North Africa, and back to Abu Dhabi, where it all began. When are we back in Abu Dhabi? I don't know. I have no idea. I can just tell you that we hope to be back in Abu Dhabi between the end of uh, June and uh, mid-July. Now we see if the weather will fit for these plants.